Okay, so I have just got the one colour for this because we're only using one colour with the Jacquard Mosaic. Um, and I have started with 22 chains. So that's what it says for the tutorial. Basically, you can make this pattern any width you like. and You just need to start with a multiple of six plus three stitches. Okay, so I've got 22. There's the extra one which becomes the turning chain to start with. So I will end up with 21 stitches. Okay, so this one starts basically just like any other um, any other overlay design where we're going to be working a row of double crochets and you can just work it into this the, this sort of loop of the chain um, if you like I just got into the habit of working into the back bump and if you've done my normal overlay mosaic tutorial you'll see that I actually for that one you need to go into the back bump so it's just a habit I've got into so I'm going to carry on working there so it is just a case one double crochet in each chain so do that across when you get to the end don't fasten off and I'll tell you what we do next okay so I've now got 20 double crochets here so it's just time to pop the last one just in that if you notice that initial sort of knot I keep quite loose so I can make my last chain, uh, my last double crochet into it, and then I just pull it tight there. Okay, so what we do with Jacquard Mosaic, we, as I said, we don't cut off at the end of each row. We're going to, as we're only going to be using one colour anyway, we are going to make life easy for us and uh, ourselves and avoid all those loose ends by um, turning and working a return row on the back. So to do that, I'm actually going to put two turning chains. Now, they still don't count as a stitch. The reason for the extra one is just to make this edge nice and neat and tidy so you shouldn't actually need a border at all unless of course you want to but it won't desperately need it so two turning chains which again don't count as a stitch so remember this is the stitch we're going to be working into on the next row if you struggle to find it you can pop a mark go in there so i'm just going to turn there we go so as i said it's there so we are going to pop a normal double crochet through both loops in that first stitch now basically every single wrong side row is going to be the same all you do so you start with that double crochet through both loops and for the rest of the row it is just working a double crochet into that front loop so what this is going to do is basically this is uh, it's the front loop as we're looking at it now but when we turn it around oh and again make sure you don't do what I just did there you need to make sure it's literally just this loop that you work into okay so just that front loop so I'm going to go along like that I'll just flip it over and show you what, what that does on the right side so what that's now done is created basically some front loops for us to use to make the pattern on the way back okay so the wrong side rows with jacquard mosaic are just double crochets into that front loop all the way along until you get to the very last stitch and that will just be an ordinary double crochet again just to sort of tidy up the edges okay so carry on like so and I'll see you when you get to the end okay so I've now got almost to the end of row two and I'm just gonna pop so they've all all of these double crochets have been through the front loops only I'm just gonna pop a normal double crochet through both loops in that last stitch Okay, and now we remember to do two turning chains turn around so this is now we're back on the right side again so you can see what we've done by working into the front loops on the wrong side we've actually left front loops that we can work our overlay mosaic into so that's one thing that's different about jacquard mosaic the other thing that's different is when we're working on the right side the double crochets are actually going to be worked all of them will be through both loops so there's no back loop only um, double crochets on the right side so it's all going to be through both loops and then we'll be dropping down our trebles into these unused loops from the row below when we want to make the pattern okay so it starts the pattern uh, the before the um, repeat starts we're going to need to do two double crochets we're going to start up there two double crochets as I said always through both loops so the repeat now nice and simple is just a case of 
two double crochets. So one, two, and then a front loop treble. Two rows down. So that is just like ordinary overlay mosaic crochet. And then I'll repeat ends with three double crochets. So that's what you're going to do along. So we've got ending with three double crochets. And then we start the next repeat with two more double crochets. So again, remember on the right side rows of jacquard mosaic, it's always through both loops. So what we've now got is a run of five double crochets. And I'm just going to pop my treble down there again. So that is how you create the textured pattern in jacquard mosaic. Okay, so three, then we start the next repeat with two double crochets. And we've got one treble, two rows down into that front loop. And then we end the repeat with one, two, three double crochets. And that should then just leave you with one more stitch at the end of the row, which will always be a double crochet. Okay. So hopefully you can see the pattern starting to take shape. That will look a little bit more obvious as we do a bit more of it. And also it depends on the direction that the light is coming from. So I don't know if it looks clearer or less clear if I twist it. Anyway, so we've now done row three. So again, row four, we've got a turn. So it's two turning chains. Turn. And then as we did on row two, we start with a double crochet through both loops. And then we're just going to go all the way along taking care that we only pick up that front loop so we do our double crochets into that front loop right up until we get to the last stitch and then that very last one will be through both loops okay so i've just now done row four on the wrong side i've done my two turning chains and i'm now ready to start row five so that again as always is going to start with a double crochet through both loops and remember that always all of the double crochets on the right side rows are always through both loops with this method so we actually now need two double crochets there and now the repeat on this one is another nice simple one we're actually going to do two front loop trebles two rows down one two and then we've got make sure you've missed two two stitches behind those two that you've just done one double crochet through both loops and then two front loop trebles so that's basically what we're doing all the way along two front loop trebles two rows down one double crochet so just repeat that all the way along until you get to the last stitch which will be another double crochet so hopefully you now start to see the texture a little bit better now we've done a few more stitches in it okay so that is row five done so again it's not exactly the same as we always do on the return row so we've got our two turning chains one double crochet through both loops and then a row of double crochets into those front loops only okay so just do that and I'll be back again and actually what we've done when we've done this that is the whole pattern done because we're just now going to be repeating rows three to six so I'll see you just to go through how we start that again Okay, so that is all of the rows of our pattern repeat done now. So all we're now going to be doing is repeating rows three, four, five, and six till we get to the required height. So, so we start, I'll just do row three once more with you. So obviously that now starts, we started with our two double crochets before the main repeat. And then it's just another two. One, two and a front loop treble so what we're doing is now all we're doing is 
popping another treble in there to mirror the one one we did at the bottom so we end each repeat with three double crochets one two three and we start again with two more so that's five double crochets in a row and then one treble which goes just in between those there so we're making the kind of chain idea okay so that is your row three so you're just going to repeat that and then rows four five and six as well just keep repeating those four rows until you've got to the required height two three four and that is how you do jacquard mosaic crochet and hopefully you can see why i call it jacquard mosaic because it gives that sort of effect if you i mean back in the 80s when i used to go out when i first started going out clubbing there was a lot of lace and a lot of jacquard sort of satiny fabrics with that sort of subtle um design so it's not about color it's all the same color but it was all the jacquard looms just if you're not aware just like create a sort of subtly textured pattern um I say but it's all in one color it just depends on how it's woven and i just thought when you do this all in one color it gives that same effect which is why i'm calling it jacquard mosaic and hopefully you can also see why i do the two chains turning chains so that keeps those edges quite nice and neat and you wouldn't need to put a border on it if you don't want to and it also it's not completely flat but it doesn't curl nearly as badly as ordinary overlay mosaic either if you notice it's just lifting up ever so slightly there but it's much flatter it's a lot easier just to give it a gentle blocking and then let's leave it as it is so if you're not if you're a person that doesn't like doing borders then hopefully you'll like this method mm -hmm.